let's finish our lightsaber by crafting a hilt for it. I'll start by cutting a 12 inch piece of 1 inch BBC and securing it on the lathe. This is what it looks like after we finish with the lathe. On the bottom of the hilt, I'll set our 9 bolt down and use a marker to mark out the four corners, and then file out indentations so that we can slot the 9 bolt in easily. Then I'm going to print out these templates, which you can find in the description on cardstock, and then cut them out. I'll wrap the larger section around the piece of PVC so that I can mark the line for cutting the emitter off. Then, on the long side of the emitter, I'll drill a small hole and then mark from the edge of the hole to the end of the emitter. Then, I'll use a hacksaw to cut from the end to the hole at the edges to create this nice slot for showcasing the blade. Below that, I'll drill a half-inch hole for the button to go through. I'll also cut out a small piece of cardstock that will fit in the end of the hilt. Our hilt will be painted three different colors. The base color, which the PVC will be painted, the main color, which the larger piece of cardstock will be painted, and the accent color, which the other two pieces of cardstock will be painted. Then, I'll trim the cardstock around the emitter so it's the proper shape. Now that the pieces are painted, I'll slide on the gold section and glue it down. Then, we can line up the electronics, with the plug for the LEDs on top, then the button, then the Arduino Nano, then this whole mess of wires, then the 9V, and lastly the switch. Then, we can slide them in in that order. I'll pull the button and the plug for the LEDs all the way out the top of the emitter, and then cut out some small squares of cardboard which I'll glue under the button to keep it at the appropriate height inside the hilt. Then we can slide the button back in, line it up with the hole, and push a button cap through the outside of the hole and click it down onto the button. Then we can take the little silver button cover and glue it down onto the button to cover up both the button and the seat. We can also glue the edges of that down so that it doesn't stick out. Then we can slide in the 9 volt battery, and then we can cut a slit and a rectangular hole in the bottom piece for the switch. Once we put the switch in, we can add lots of hot glue to secure it to this little piece and make this little piece strong. Then we're going to add even more hot glue, absolutely coating the thing so that all of the edges are surrounded by hot glue. Once it's dried, we can force it in and it will be quite snug thanks to all of that hot glue. I'll plug in the blade and then trim off the red and white wires that don't lead to anything. I'll add some electrical tape around the very end of it to make the fit tighter, and then I'll force it down into the hilt. Here is the finished lightsaber hilt, and if we shut down the lights, we can activate it by pressing the button and change the color to anything we want by double click. It's sturdy enough to duel with, and of course it looks absolutely stunning in darker areas. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future lightsaber videos.